Hey everyone, my name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan, and Dean and I are so excited to be here at Ellis Home and Garden this morning for our first part of our tree series that we do every single year here at Ellis Home and Garden. Usually I have the opportunity to go around to different locations, different stores, to uh, do this in person with you guys, but this year has just been crazy and hectic, plus with the delay of products. I just wanted to make sure that I did it here on the video for you. And again, the reason we're doing it a little bit early is because I want to give you guys plenty of time to have inspiration and ideas um, on how to decorate your own tree and different tips and tricks that I use. Maybe you can put them in your own perspective and do them on your tree. So I'm excited, guys. I've got a seven and a half foot slim tree here. Remember that when you do a tree topper or a tree decoration at all, you want to make sure you size and scale your products and your items to the size of the tree. Okay. So this is a seven and a half foot slim tree. So I'm going to show you guys how we can take longer stems and incorporate them in here, but without making the top too heavy, because we all know we've all done that. I mean, myself included. So you just want to make sure you have it all proportionate as best possible. So I hope you guys had a fabulous weekend. I hope y'all leave a comment down below as you join us this morning. Let me know where you're watching from and any questions you have, of course, throughout this demo, leave them down below. And even if you're watching the replay later, guys, you're just as important. So make sure you leave those questions in the comments and someone from the Ellis team We'll go back and respond to y'all, okay? Everything I'm going to use today can be found at ellishomeandgarden.com along with so much more. I believe the floral is 25% off this week, so that's great savings to kind of stack up on those stems because one of the main questions I get all the time is, how many stems does it take to do a tree topper? And it's really just a preference thing. Some people like a simple topper. They like to mix ribbon in there. And some people, excuse me, some people like the whole shebang. So you can literally do all kinds of stuff. So that's why we wanted to make sure the stems were on sale this week. So if you guys wanted to get several to maybe add to your collection you already have, you definitely could. Okay, girl, did y'all watch Dance with the Stars? It was so good. I was telling Dina earlier that I could not, I mean, it just makes me sad that people are having to go home because um, everybody's so freaking good. But I do agree with who they sent home. Do you, or do you, who do you think the show went home? I was thinking it was going to be um, Iman, Jimmy, or Melora, is who I was thinking. But Jimmy went home, and right? Jimmy did go home. Melora, no, no mm -mm, that's my girl, y'all. I love Melora Harden, but um, I don't know. I think I'm okay with who went home. I did not like Carrie Ann's hair. Mm -hmm. I love it when she's got that long, beautiful hair with the center part. Tyra. Good God. Um, we're just going to leave that over there to the side. And uh, who was the other that one? the 80s thing. Yeah, she did. I did like the 80s hair. I mean, she did pull that off. But we love Janet Jackson. So I was on my couch, like, singing and dancing and eating a barbecue at the same time. So anyway, we had a great time. All right, y'all, let's get started. <clears throat> okay. Now, this is the unlit tree. I'm doing it for demo purposes. I'm also going to leave the tags on the stems because I'm going to have to put them back on the floor. So whoo, don't forget over the trashy tags. Of course, if you're doing this at home, make sure you take off not only the tag, but the plastic ring that's on there too. I'm going to have a tag right here on the tree, of course, because this is the demo that I stole like the Grinch off the floor. Hope we ain't going to tell nobody. Okay, we're going to put it back because I even noticed. So first thing you do, guys, when you get ready to do a tree topper is you fluff it out, girl. Nothing is worse than a skimpy tree. If you ain't got the bones set, then you can't put your stems in there and it's not going to look good, okay? So, I've already pre-done this, but you just want to go through and pull each and every piece of the tips of your branches um, to begin. Also, I like to do my toppers first because you don't know how much room you're going to have left on the tree until you get the top done, depending on the size of it. And if you uh, decorate the tree all the way up to here, you limit your space on how you can do the top. So, you want to do that first, okay? So, now that I have that done, <clears throat> we're going to start with a little bit of red, honey. Okay, so the theme I'm going to go with this year for the demo is going to be rustic elegance. Okay, so we're going to put some glitter, some elegant things in with rustic, which we all love. So this is one of my favorite stems, guys. This is a red leaf spray. This is a great filler on your tree, but it also works well on the top. So first stem you always insert on a tree top, guys, is at the very top. So I'm going to put this one right up here. Okay, and take your time when you do this, okay, because doing a tree top is like... Uh, painting a picture. You don't want to rush through it, okay? You want to make sure that everything uh, goes in the correct spot and that you have good balance and shaping and structure throughout the whole thing. So please be patient and go one at a time, okay? Now, when you do the tree top at home, here's what I suggest. I suggest you split the tree into four sections. So you have the front section, the back, and the two sides. Do what I'm going to show you on all four sides so that way your tree doesn't get top heavy and sway. But this is for demo, so I'm just going to do this on this side because it would take probably an hour if I did it on there. So, I'm going to now put a stem kind of going down on the tree. Okay. 
I'm going to take another one and make sure you fluff out your stems, guys, as you prepare. And we're going to put this one just kind of going down, okay? Like that. So one at the top, one on the side, and one going down. And now we're going to do the same thing on the other side, and we're going to basically create um, a short or a small outline to go back and fill in our other stems. And if you get your outline done correctly, then you're pretty much set on the rest of your tree. Okay? Will you explain why you went down with that last one? Yes, guys. So the reason I go down on the stems is that your tree, natural trees, if you go out in the woods, honey, if you go to the store, um, they're all hinged like this. And so when you have hinged branches, you want all of your floral to kind of go with the direction of the branch. If you stick a stem up like this, it's going to ruin your shape and your tree is going to end up being boxy. So whatever you put in the top, you have to bring it down into the tree so that it flows with the branches. And that's why I did that. Okay. Now we're going to come to this side and add another stem there. Okay. So as you can see, let me kind of get this here. Move this over just a little. Okay, so I've done the top and the two sides. So if you were doing this at home and you were going to make this even, you want to make sure you put it on the front and the back and so that it's evenly distributed, okay? So now I'm going to come down here in the center of what I just did. So I'm going to put one right here. And I'm going to take one more of those glitter stems and put this in the center, okay? And move your branches out of the way and then just slide this in right there, okay? So we have used a total of nine stems, okay? Now, let's talk about even and odds real quick because so many people ask me, when should you use even and odd numbers? Excuse me, on floral, you don't have to worry about using odd numbers because you can't really tell what's there. I mean, it's all going to blend together and almost look like an arrangement. But if you're using something larger, like um, this is too small, but if you're using a larger ball like this, then you want to make sure you use an odd number if you can because your eye immediately gets drawn to that. And to me, I like the odd number rule on that. But on florals, I think you can kind of do whatever. Hi, Kay. How are you? Well, I'm glad you're up early, girl. I was telling Dina I got so excited over nothing, but y'all, if y'all haven't got these, go to the store. I got mine at Lowe's. Dina said they have them at Walmart. They're called, um, I don't know what they're called. They start with E in Brighton. That's what it's called. There's these little plugs and I have so many freaking Christmas lights plugged in around my house that I used to have timers on everything, but I couldn't find my timers. And I, the, when I say I couldn't find them, I didn't look for them. So I went to uh, Lowe's and um, I found these little plugs and you just put one at each outlet and you plug your stuff into it and it's all controlled by an app on your phone. So if you are, if you live in Texas and you're in Alabama visiting, you can turn your lights on, on your, uh, at your house on your phone. It's so cool and I'm so obsessed. So my housekeeper's coming this morning and I just thought she might need a little light. So when I woke up, I said, like, ding, 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 I turned everything on and I'll just turn them off later and she'll think it's a timer. So if you guys haven't tried that, check it out. And a lot of people, they sell them all year round because you can put your lamps on it or, you know, whatever you have at home. Okay, now this is rustic. Now you're probably thinking, girl, why in the heck are you putting more greenery in a green tree? This is cedar, honey. Okay, it's all about the detail. So we're going to take this cedar spray, which you guys have seen me use multiple times in arrangements, wreaths and garlands, and we're going to put it at the top. Okay, your outline is set. So now you want to just start working in your cedar, okay? Lisa, he's just doing the topper right for today. Yes, guys, this is the tree series. So this week's the topper. Next week is the entire tree, okay? So I'm going back through. I'm fluffing out my cedar sprays, incorporating these in. Again, guys, remember, this is for demo, so that's why there's trashy tags on there. Otherwise, I would take them off. And move this one a little bit, put it down and out. In this extra greenery, um, I would put this in the whole tree if you're doing a rustic tree because it just breaks everything up and makes it look almost like a fresh tree because the greenery looks so real. Okay? So that's why I'm doing that. And I know you can't see it very well on the, on the camera, but it's not really meant to be like a, oh my gosh, there's cedar in there. It's meant to be um, a, just a filler, you know? Okay. So now I have my cedar in there. I filled that all in the gaps. Remember, if you're doing this at home, you want to make sure you do it all the way around. Okay? 
Hi, Roxanne. How are ya? Lisa, yes. Uh, whatever we put in the top will be throughout the tree. But girl, we just in the top today, okay? So the top's going to stop here. Next week, we'll continue the tree, guys, and we'll have everything we put in the top in the tree as well. So you'll have a good blending all the way through. Kelly wants to know if you've watched the moon. Kelly Epperson. Kelly Days. Hi, Kelly. Uh, yes, I haven't finished yet, but um, I've got like three episodes left till the end. Have you watched it? What do you think about the ending? Have you watched it? Have you watched you at all? <gasps> Did you know what it's about? I'm still trying to get caught up on uh, Yellowstone. Yeah, Dina it cannot be here today. I'm going to send her home because she um, has not finished Yellowstone. That I'm glad we brought that up. If you guys watch Yellowstone this past week, it was a two-hour premiere. It was on Sunday. Leave a comment. Let's talk. Okay, let me tell you what I thought. First of all, I've already told you all. I bet this dad I wasn't going to watch. And Dina, I hate to spoil it for you, but they ain't dead. I mean, it's a show. They can't, they can't kill them off. So um, it was really good. And I just love her. Love Beth. And there's a whole new thing that happens this year. It's going to be a storyline for Beth and Rip, Dina, and I think you'll really like it. So um, I love the new storyline. I can't say too much about it because I don't want to ruin it for Dina, but it was so good. But leave your comment. Let me know if you watched um, I'm Up to Death. And you all know they're coming out with a prequel. It's called, I don't know what it's called, but it's got Faith Hill and Tim McGraw. 1863, 93, 83, something. something. But did you see the preview yet? Yes. Oh, it looks so good. And I love me some Faith Hill. Maybe she'll bust out of this kiss on the ranch. But um, anyway, love it. I can't wait. Oh, Susan Watch. Wasn't it good, girl? Okay, y'all, this is a rustic tree, girl. So we're going to put in these red berry sprays, okay? Don't forget, there will be a shopping list later, and everything that I use will be on the shopping list, so it's easier for you guys to find if you want to replicate this exact tree, okay? Also, guys, I just got back from um, Texas Designers Roundup. I was at an event all weekend. We left on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, came home on Sunday. It was in San Marcos, Texas. It was my first time there. Super nice town. Um... And we had so much fun. It was awesome. Andrea Brown with Ranch House Reese and things did it. And it's amazing. I mean, it's her last one. So, of course, we had to go out with the bang girl. And I think that we did exactly that. To make it to the mall. Cheryl, you have never seen it. Oh, my gosh, girl. I did not make it to the malls. We were working the whole time. And then every night we went out, we went to dinner. And so, it was just too late to do the shopping. But I did pass by lots of stuff. And you know what was right next to my hotel, which was kind of a sign? That would be Cheddar's. And do you think I stopped by? No. But I just waved and kept on going. OA on Netflix. What is OA, Susan? Class in? Tell me what that is. I might like it. And thank you. I appreciate it. All right, guys. On the top of your tree, it is narrower. So if you have long stem, tiny, they will go through the other side. So pull it and bend it over instead of cutting your stems. Because next year... You might use these on another project. You don't want to have to go by and buy new stems. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I'm going to keep adding these in. Okay. And just use the shaping and the outline you've already set. Hallie, well, I hope your craft, share, uh, craft show went well, and we definitely missed seeing you. It was so fun. Got to see all my peeps. I got lots of divas there, guys. By the way, if you like what you see here every week, but you want to learn more about floral, guys, don't forget that I have a monthly design group, Dylan's Divas. It's 20 bucks a month. We go live four times a week, a tutorial per month, and so much more. And you get 10% off everything that you purchase from me. So if you're interested, go to my website, dylanpalmerdesigns.com, and click on Dylan's Divas on the left-hand side, and it'll take you to the link, okay? And Dylan is spelled D-Y-L-A-N. I should have worn my shirt with my name on it, but uh, they're all dirty. <laughs> Someone said when I got here, I love that blue shirt on you. I'm like, thanks, girl, with all it was clean. Y'all know I hate doing it. Do you hate doing laundry, Dan? Yes. Actually, I love um, the part about laundry that I love, which I'm sure Dina does too. We can throw it in the laundry or the, the washer all day, but taking it out of the dryer, that's a whole other thing. They need a button that you push and it just comes out on the hanger. All right, guys, so we're almost done with the red berries. And then I've got a really fun component to add in here next, okay? So, uh, Lamar and Marilyn. Hey, Marilyn. Um, one of my deepest guys. She's asking how many stems do you recommend on the top of a tree? And I can't tell you how many of each because, again, it's just a preference thing. But if I had to give you just a, a baseline of what I would start at, I would say seven to nine stems. Seven to nine of each stem, okay? So if you use th uh, three different types of stems, then seven to nine of each one of those stems. That way you just have enough, you know, and it gives you a good balance. Okay, I 
think I'm going to add one more of these. And then we have a little fun component we're going to add. But that girl's wasting things. Her husband does all the laundry. He is real kind. Girl, listen, here's the deal. I, me and Josh, it's teamwork. I put it in, he takes it out, okay? And he don't take it out by choice because he don't have any clothes and he can't wash them because my stuff's in the dryer. And I'm telling him I'm not doing it. So, anyway, but yeah, laundry's the worst. And it would, I don't know what's so bad about taking it out of the dryer. I think it's because, you know, you have to turn it on so that they don't get wrinkled. And then you have a heat stroke trying to hang your clothes up. It's just awful. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. And you know what even irritates me more is when you wash your sheets and stuff and you get so excited to put them on and they're not dry in the middle. You know, you take, you fit your hand in there and they're all, they're good. And then you take them out and they're still damp. Ugh. Don't get me started. LA is kind of about time travel, but there are lots of cliffs. Oh, if you like time travel, girl, have you seen Outlander? Because I heard that's like the show. It's based in Scotland. I'm, Dina, I'm surprised you haven't watched that because it's all up in your alley. Hold the phone. We watched this show, and I thought of you, Dina. Um, well, let me think of what it was called. I don't know. You like sci-fi, right? Mm -hmm. This was so sci-fi that I like sci-fi too, guys, if I can understand. But, you know, Dina and Josh, I feel like they like all, you know, all that stuff. But he taught me into watching this show. Oh, it's called something Dune. Have you seen Dunes? I think it was called. It had Timothy Chalamet or whatever his name Girl, I don't even know what happened. It, but it was two and a half hours, very sci-fi, but I thought of Dina because I know she likes that stuff, and Josh loved it. But uh, anyway, we watched this new show on Apple TV called um, C, and it's like a Viking show, and they're all blind, but then it's like witches in there too, so the kids that are born can see, and it's really good. And then we watched another one called um, Invasion, and it's about aliens, and I know you love aliens. So um, it's really good too, guys, on Apple. Okay. Oh, Lisa, honey, I watched, me and Dina both watched Lock and Key, like, the first day it came out. Yeah. We loved it. Okay. Did you like it? Now it's time to add something fun. I love swirl sprays, but you want to get your base done, guys, with your basic stems, and then add your fun stuff at the end just to give it a little accent, okay? So now I'm going to take these buffalo plaid swirls, and we're going to incorporate these into the tree topper, Okay. And these are great on the top, on the top, but you can also look, turn them sideways and put them in the tree too, and that'll be really pretty. Garcelle murders in the building. Only murders in the building was good, and I'm, there's another season of it coming out. Okay, if you guys have seen Murders in the Building, or if you haven't, close your ears. Dana, I don't have time to finish it. Who killed the person in the building? The girlfriend, the old cello, the bass. The, For real? Yeah. So she got arrested? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So at the end, were they all good friends still? Like Steve Martin, Selena Gomez? There, there's there's going to be a season two. But yet they all made up. Okay, good. If it wasn't for Martin Short and Steve Martin, that <clears throat> show wouldn't be what it is. That was so good. There is no foam in the tree. Nope, guys. That's the importance of fluffing your tree is because it acts, the, the branches on your tree act as the foam, so you don't have to put any in there. It just works out. And the more you add, the better it'll be. Okay? Now this one, I'm going to curl up here and put in the bottom, kind of spilling out. Okay. So I put those swirls in there, which are super fun. So now, I'm going to do something else to show you, okay? I'm Maybe gonna there's going to be a shopping list, a supply list at the end of the video. And let me get up close here to show y'all up close because I know it looks hard. It looks difficult because you can't see the the green spots in there, but that's, that's where I use the um, the cedar. Okay. Okay. So, hi Phyllis. I'm going to show you guys a different tip this year. A lot of you ask me how you can incorporate ribbon into your treetops. So I'm going to show you. Okay. This is two and a half inch buffalo plaid ribbon. You can get it on the website, ellatomagarden.com. I'm going to cut me some strips. Most of these strips, guys, are going to be um, 48 inches or so. By the way, I'm so jealous. Okay, so you guys know Rebecca, who helps me. She runs everything online, all the websites and stuff like that. She lives in Lake Charles. Um, when I talk about her all the time, she's the one that does a shopping list, everything for y'all. So she decided to get up and leave and take a vacation to Hawaii. And uh, she's in Hawaii, and I'm so upset because she went skydiving in Hawaii. And I'm dying to go skydiving, but 
um, I always wanted to do it somewhere would be pretty, you know, not that my eyes would be open, I'd be blacked out, but uh, she took pictures, and I texted her and asked her how it was, and she said it really wasn't as scary as she thought. The only time she got scared was when they first opened the door, but she's like, once you're out, you forget about being scared, it's just like, you know, so much going on, but I would love, would you go sky high? Mm-mm. Oh, I would love to. You're scared of heights? Mm-hmm. Oh, no, I am. I would love to go cliff jumping, too. Anyway, we'll, we'll take Dina, and she'll watch, she'll take videos, okay, <laughs> while we're doing that. Okay, I'm taking the strip of ribbon, making a small loop, about 12 inches, and I've got some long tails. And this is how you can easily add in your ribbon. You just tie it in there with the PVC tips that are on your tree. Betty says that that's her job today, so she needs to know what items you're using. Oh, Betty, I just saw your there. text. That's why I'm ready. I already emailed them to you, girl, because I didn't want you calling me because you're screaming at me. So I already emailed them to you, girl. All the items so you can make the list. Oh, come on, y'all. Skydiving will be fun, I think. Well, I jumped out of a truck aboard your airplane. That's what my mom says. And she says my life insurance ain't covered if I jump out of a plane. But anyway, I think it will be so fun. Betty, will you go with me? We should go together so Rebecca doesn't have all the fun. I bet Derek will do it with me. Okay. So, guys, again, I'm taking in my ribbon. And this is a good, easy way of how you can incorporate ribbon into your tree comb, okay? And I'm going to put a little bit at the top, too, and you might cut your strips a little shorter on those because you don't need those long tails. So maybe bring it down to 36 inches versus uh, 48. Guys, don't forget, floral, I think, is the item of the week, 25% off. Ellisonmangarden.com. Everything's on there, including the stuff we're going to use next week because whatever we put in the top, we're going to incorporate on the bottom half of the tree as well. Oh, Betty, okay, well, good. They have one in Gladewater, or, or if they have one in Shreveport, I call me. Okay, we're going to go. I'm really in dying to go. But I'm going to pay for the whole package because I want to have a video of me, you know, blacking out. I think it'd be entertaining. Okay, so I'm adding some ribbon in there. Now, I'm using some little tips to tie these around, but another tip for y'all is if you have those six-inch wooden picks with the wire on them, you can pick your, your, your ribbon and then put it on there like that, too. Joshua says, what? Are you scared of spiders and snakes? Did you go skydiving? Listen, honey, let me tell you what happened the other day. So, I came home, and I was cleaning the house, and I saw what looked like a worm, a dead worm on the floor. And I thought, oh, my God, Stella brought a worm in or somebody. It was a snake, and I was so scared it was dead. I got tongs, and I picked up the snake with the tongs. It was probably six inches long. And then I threw it in the toilet to flush it. And then the whole time I did that, I was thinking, what if someone is sitting on the toilet and that snake comes back alive? So now I haven't gone to that bathroom in there in probably uh, two weeks because I'm just terrified that things going to come up and get me. But y'all know I don't do snakes. Mm-mm. And let me tell you what happened the other day. So you know my mom and me always have adventures. We went to my storage building and uh, we were look- we were getting some stuff out of there to decorate her house. This is probably a month ago. And I haven't gone to this storage building in a long time. And I look over when I go in and it is the biggest black widow spider I've ever seen. It's probably like this big around, which is big because I've seen like a tiny one. And it had a nest on the wall or a web or whatever. And I told my mom, mom, don't get over there because I want to get killed that before we leave. And, and she said, uh, I'm not going to go over there. So she brings all this stuff in and what does she do? Bangs around over there. The spider disappears. So then I spent all day looking for the spider. I couldn't find it. So then I went back over there a couple days ago to get some more stuff and that spider was back. But I'm just so scared it's going to jump on my legs. So I'm going to get me some, some, you know, spider killer or something. But I'm terrified of those things, especially when I saw that red dot. I thought, not today, girlfriend. Honey, won't he do it? I just love that little bit of ribbon in there. Let me uh, zoom in up close again so you guys can see. Oh, I don't do ticks either. Mm-mm. I will die. Okay. And we can probably put... One more small piece, which I did that, guys, with the five-yard bolt of ribbon. We can probably incorporate one more piece right in there, okay? Just like that. Okay, so that's an easy topper for y'all. If you didn't want to add the ribbon, okay, what you could do is you could... um, just continue with all the stems that we added and then uh, just put more and more and more. You know, if you get to a point where you spend uh, some money and you don't want to spend any more, but your top looks good, but it still needs a few more items, 
Ribbon is always inexpensive and it's a great filler for any type of project, especially a tree topper. So I wanted to show you how we can add that this time in case you guys, you know, need the help on that. Ribbon okay. was what, about 48 inches? Yes, 48 inches. And then the ones at the very top without any tails hanging down, I did those about 20, I mean 36. It also, guys, when you get the top done, don't get discouraged because, I mean, yeah, the top looks okay, but when you get the whole rest of the tree done, that's when it's all going to basically come to life. So you don't have to really worry about that because it's all going to work together in the end. All right, guys, all the items are used at ellishomelandgarden.com, 25% off for floral. Um, the shopping list will be posted later today. I just, Betty's going to work on that for y'all while Rebecca's, uh, I don't know, laying in the pool. And uh, so jealous. So anyway, check it out, guys, the website. Um, you can follow me, guys, on Facebook at Designs by Dylan. Guess what's coming out tomorrow? My home tour for 2021. So uh, you'll get to see kind of the downsizing. You're probably going to be like, Dylan, you didn't downsize. But the downscaling that I did this year um, and all that. So my home tour will be out tomorrow on YouTube. I'll post it on my Facebook page, so make sure you check that out. And guys, don't forget... Here in the Longview location of Ellis, they have Christmas in the Gardens, honey. And uh, they have videos and pictures and all that information on the website and on Facebook. Um, but I've never seen so many Christmas lights. It's a walk-through tour with beautiful light. I mean, girl, lights everywhere. And they have a whole wooded area in case you've never been down there. So come on, check it out. It's every night. I don't know what the charge is, but there's a small charge, of course. It's $5. Like 5 or $3. I think it's like maybe 3 for kids, 5 for adults. And then when you get up to 4 people, I think it's... Group charge. Yeah. It's not bad, y'all. It's not bad at all. So bring your kids and pack a snack, honey. Pack a, um, I don't know, some eggnog. We ain't going to tell on you. And uh, have a blast out here at Ellis Home Garden. All right, guys. We love you for watching. Can Hope you have a question? Oh, sure. Do you have the four-inch red ribbon from the TDR stage tree on the right? I do not. That all was provided to me by Sandy um, Loomis, okay? And she's one of my divas. So if you find her on Facebook, Sandy Loomis, she might can tell you where she got it. She orders a lot of stuff from QVC, so it might be from there. But um, that's where it came from. Oh, the red ribbon. I know what you're talking about. I will check when I get back to my shop or my house because I know it ribbon the four inch with the red and the white. I'll see if I have more. And if not, I know where you can get it. So send me an email, okay? Designs by Dylan at yahoo.com so I don't forget and I will send you the link to wherever I can find it, okay? Tommy, we're going to finish the tree next week. Yeah, guys, this is the two part tree series. Topper this week, tree next week. All right? We love y'all for watching. Have a fabulous, blessed week. Um, as you get prepared for Thanksgiving, I'm so, so, so excited. My family's coming to my house. I got my turkey fryer in yesterday. I'm going to throw a taquito in there and try it out. And uh, we'll be doing that for Thanksgiving. But y'all take care. Have a great week. Come out and see Ellis Home and Garden, the Christmas in the Gardens. Shopping list will be posted later. Florals 25% off. And Dean and I love you for watching. And we'll see you guys next week on Tuesday here at Ellis Home and Garden. Bye, y'all. Bye.